Hello and welcome back. So today are we, we are going to do the lab 20 that is simulating an eavesdropping attack. So we will be doing this via Wireshark and basically eavesdropping only is effective against unencrypted text. We have done this before we did uh, when we were doing the labs for uh, EJPT. I Let me actually go and try to find it. All right, so I found my video. This is basically EGPT Hello, I'm controller. Analyzing HTTP versus HTTPS traffic, and this is more detail. Uh, I don't, I cannot see how long is the. And this video. is the spinning like wheel of excuses. Mark. It's what the IT. And oh, actually, half half hour. This mo this one is much more detail. Everything explained. We. Uh, like explored everything made sense so i would strongly suggest watch this video and not the one this lab that i'm going to do i'm i'm just have i'm i'm just gonna have to do it uh to get the credit and pass the class <clears throat> so but if you want to follow along that's fine so in this one they, they will they at least they won't be in me offering any explanation it will be just follow the instruction and hit submit not cool all right <clears throat> if you want to follow along on your computer uh, these are the instructions here yeah, actually those were the instructions all right so let's get started start our windows machine i'm going to make it full screen now <clears throat> What's happening here the old, it's the old one okay yeah it's the exact same uh, virtual machine okay all right so we're gonna start the Wireshark Ethernet zero okay so this time we're changing different one we're gonna check the Ethernet zero and this little tiny graph showing there is activity on that interface we're gonna start the capture <clears throat> we're gonna minimize it and now we're gonna launch Google Chrome so we are basically going to use certify okay and we close it we go back in the Wireshark and it wants us to apply a filter so we're gonna do the HTTP one and hit go now these are the two one and you can see the protocol is HTTP so it's non encrypted plain text And if we see the packet detail here, basically you, you click on show stream or something. I'm gonna just click on see show figure. So the figure is get and this one so that was the figure offered in the right there so you can see they had uh, this lab was completely garbage and useless uh, <clears throat> you should see that video that I this one in this video what we did is what we logged in to an online website first in HTTP mode captured the packets analyzed it and actually in the stream like here we were actually able to see the exact username and password that we had entered then we changed site 
we access the same website via HTTPS we logged in and then we went back uh, to view our captured packet and everything was gar uh, like uh, gar garbled text not garbage garbled like uh, unlegible you could not read it so it was basically um, just different uh, uh hieroglyphic type things so you, you they were not like actual words or something or numbers uh that you could read you, you you were not able to make any sense of it all right so for this uh i have to do it i hope this video made oh i didn't save it so it's not gonna see it's failed so let me go and save it so file mm, save oh no okay just capture data and save <coughs> okay is it in documents or someplace else yes it's in document let's try to submit now okay record my answer all right so i'm done with my lab but again i said this is not the useful one the useful one is this one um, but I hope this video has helped you at least pointing you in the right direction if it has please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one